And hello from one of the newer venues in English football, the Amex Stadium on the south coast. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against Watford. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs experience in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2v1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. And so the initial 11 for Watford. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Pascal Gross. And Feldman with it here. Neil Mopé. Pisuma. Mopé. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Retaining possession proving difficult. There's a slide rule pass. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate, and he's punished. That's quite remarkable. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. Opening goal of the game, then. Bisuma. Now in possession, Trossard. Trossard. Mopé. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Couldn't keep it. Pascal Gross. Trossard. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? A very effective clearance. Struggling to keep the ball. Tom Cleverley. And Hughes has it. Pedro. Can he put it away? Excellent. Gives it a go. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. 
slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So 2-0 now. Goal for Watford. Number eight, Tom Kill. Joel Feldman. Now in possession, Trossard. Trossard. Neil Mopé. Can they take advantage? Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. And options in the centre. He might be able to make it through. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And they need to get tighter here. Might be dangerous. And it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. Will Hughes... Oh, the ball lost here. Dunk. Dan Byrne. Welbeck. Gross. Now in possession, Tosar. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Seymour and Hughes has it Chalabar another successful intervention winning the ball back Joel Feldman well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball the visitors are struggling with possession, really. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Making sure nothing came of it. Chalabar, what's he going to do? Clean challenge. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. It might be on for them. Well, potential danger. And threading it forward. Is it going to be? And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Mopé. Now in possession, Trossard. Well, just getting into the move. Oh, he's given it away. A textbook interception. Ismail Assar in possession. Femenia. Will Hughes. Joao Pedro. Oh, big opportunity! Tremendous block. No nonsense clearance. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating in attack in this game, Lee. Yeah, he's carved out plenty of shooting opportunities, hasn't he? Testing the keeper on numerous occasions. Great performance up to now and rewarded with a goal.
As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. Now the second half is underway. The switch of play now. Adam Massina. And Hughes has it. Well, they keep the ball moving. Not the pass he had in mind. Joel Feldman. On to Gross. Adam Webster. Webster. Ben White. And possession given away. Chalabar. He cuts it back. Able to close down the shot. Chalabar, what's he going to do? And unable to keep the ball. Adam Webster. Dunk on the ball. Bisuma. Welbeck. Mopé. Well, he could run onto it here. That deep delivery. Well, the keeper very decisive. Kiko Femenia. Joao Pedro. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And able to close down the shot. Half an hour remaining then. Joel Feldman had a chance to whip it in here. He continues his run and still looking for space. Gross. And Feldman with it here. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Joel Feldman. He could pick out a teammate. Gross. Pascal Gross. Gross. Oh, no stopping him. Gross. And Feldman with it here. Gross. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Will Hughes. Sema. Forward cleverly. And Hughes has it. Shalabar. And he's won the ball. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Well, as we can see, Brighton certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Possibilities in the centre. Cuts in from the flank. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Lalana. Neil Mopé. Nice looking pass. 
And waiting here is Danny Welbeck. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. And he read it well. Dunk. Lalana. Now what can they do from here? And back with Lalana. Now potential danger. Couldn't grab hold of it. And putting his body on the line. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Ismail Assar. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Now, let's see what they can do here. Chalaba. And it might be... Corner given. And firing it into the area. And there it is, the final whistle, the story here, a victory for Watford. Lee, your overall assessment. Well, Derek, when you play with the attacking freestyle like this lot do, chances are going to be created. And today, they had their shooting boots on as well. Terrific stuff. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.